Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to another song review and welcome back to Rocktober. I hope my bones are not too creaky for you. Today we're going to be listening to Iron Maiden's Hallowed Be Thy Name. I've never heard this song before. I don't know. I want to say I don't know if I've ever heard an Iron Maiden song, but I feel like I probably have and I just don't know it. So if you have anything else you want me to check out by them, let me know. But this one fits in with the theme for Rocktober, I think it sounds like it. And somebody in the comments of the poll said that the Beast Over Hammersmith performance 1982 is the best live performance of the song. So I'm going to go with that one because it was either an album version or other live performances. So since you guys specifically told me one, I'm going to go with that one. So let's pop our headphones on, turn it up, and here we go. I'm waiting in my cold Wasn't even born yet. When the bell begins to chime, reflecting on my past life, and it doesn't have much time. Cause at five o'clock, they take me to the gallows pole. The sands of time for me are running low. I like his voice. Familiar to me that like it's like the riff, I guess you'd call it. But I know it's not this song. Their hair screams, ladies. <laughs> like, that sounds so familiar to me. I'll have to figure that out. Maybe I have heard this before. That sounds so familiar, but the rest of the song doesn't sound familiar to me at all. Man, I really 
really like this one. It's not over yet. young fans in the front too, like younger boys. another video there started playing but i i mean that guitar riff like the i'm not gonna sing it you know what i'm talking about i've heard that before but i never knew that that was iron maiden i never knew that this was the song like i said nothing else about this song sounds familiar but that guitar i know i've heard that before it's kind of funny, I started off this video saying I don't think I've ever heard Iron Maiden before, and then the first song I listened to, I'm like, that sounds really familiar. So, maybe I have. I just went to take my headphones off when I started taking off my bones by mistake. But, I just looked up really quick here who the band is. So, lead vocalist Bruce Dickinson, bass guitar Steve Harris, guitar David Murray, Drum, Nico McBrien, guitar, Adrian Smith, guitar, Janet Gers. I've never heard, like, n those names don't sound familiar at all to me. <laughs> and I feel like I'm going to be such a noob. But maybe I do know more by them than I think here. Let me see. What other songs they have? The Trooper? I don't know that one. Fear the Dark? No. Run to the Hills? Oh, I know that one. I do know that one. Wasted Years, Don't Know, Ace is High, Don't Know, Number of the Beast, Two Minutes to Midnight, I don't think so. So just browsing through some of their top songs, I think Run to the Hills is the only one that really stands out to me, and even that, I just know the chorus, so it would still be worth a deeper dive into it to watch either a music video, live performance, check out the lyrics, because apparently I need to do that, even with songs that I, I've heard a little bit of. I mean, I feel like Iron Maiden was a huge band, so it'd probably be, probably be impossible for me to have n not heard something by them. You know what I'm trying to say? But yeah, let's take a little bit of a deeper look into this song. Okay, so on ultimateclassicrock.com, it says, says, Hallowed Be Thy Name was written by bassist Steve Harris for Iron Maiden's third album, The Number of the Beast, 
which was released in 1982. The title comes from the Christian Lord's Prayer, better known as Our Father, while the song itself is a first-person account of a condemned man who's about to be executed. He can't understand why he's scared because he's certain his soul is immortal and will carry on after his death. It was one of the first songs the band recorded with the new singer, Bruce Dickinson, who had already identified that its epic nature was something he wanted to pursue with Maiden. Okay, so who was the singer before him then? Paul Diano. Just a quick thing here. says his singing style was more guttural and punk than Dickinson's operatic vocals. So we'll have to, we'll have to get into that another time where you guys can tell me about him. But back to the song, it says, the song didn't have the easiest of births. While Harris had stockpiled material for the band's first two albums, he had nothing prepared for its third. As a result, the number of the beasts was recorded during the last five weeks of a four-month studio stint. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Hallowed Be Thy Name was placed as the last track on the album. A live version of Hallowed Be Thy Name was released as a single in 1993, taken from that year's A Real Dead One album, recorded at Moscow's Olympic Arena on June 4th, 1993. It was expected to be the last main single to feature Dickinson's vocals after he decided to leave the band, but he returned a few years later and appeared on The Wicker Man, the first single from 2000's Brave New World. Okay, so then what happened when he left? Did they get another singer? But he's a singer now, I'm assuming. Are they still even active? I don't know. <laughs> I need a lot of help with this one. In 2012, the number of the Beast was voted the best British album of the past 60 years in an HMV poll. That's kind of crazy. In 2017, it was voted Iron Maiden's best song by Metal Hammer readers. If someone who never heard Iron Maiden before, someone from another planet or something... <laughs> Asked you about Maiden, what would you play them? Harris once asked. I think Hallowed Be Thy Name is the one. Yeah, I can, I mean, I can see why. I think it was a really good first song for me to listen to by them. But let me know what else I should listen to by them. And I did kind of get that from the lyrics. Let me just go back here and read them one more time. I can believe that it's about somebody that's about to be executed. I feel like that's pretty clear from the lyrics and that they're having conflicting thoughts about the afterlife. Like here, somebody please tell me that I'm dreaming. It's not easy to stop from screaming. The words escape me when I try to speak. Tears flow, but why am I crying? After all, I'm not afraid of dying. As the guards march me out to the courtyard, somebody cries from a cell, God be with you. If there's a God, why has he let me go? Mark my words, believe my soul lives on. Don't worry now that I have gone. I've gone beyond to seek the truth. When you know that your time is close at hand, maybe then you'll begin to understand life down here is just a strange illusion. I liked that line. But yeah, this was a really good song. I think it was very fitting for Rocktober. I think it's definitely going to go on the Halloween playlist. I don't say that with every song that I review during October, but ones that really stick out to me, they're definitely the ones that make the playlist. Let me know what you guys thought of this one. Let me know what else I should check out by Iron Maiden. Feel free to educate me in the comments about who they are. Let me know what I've missed out on on the past. Gosh, I don't even know. Let's see. They've been around since 1975. So I've missed out on a lot of, <laughs> a lot of their stuff apparently. So definitely let me know what I should check out next. And if you want, I could put them in the poll again next week. If they have any kind of darker songs, I mean, it seems like it. Their album was called The Number of the Beast. So I would think that there'd be other songs that would fit in to Rocktober, but let me know. And yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I know I've kind of been busy making videos and I haven't responded to comments as much as I want to. I'm really going to try to make time for that this week. We have a new week of Rocktober starting tomorrow. Different costume, so <laughs> be sure to stay tuned for that as well. But yes, I really do want to make some time to get back to comments because it's so fun. Like, I really love it. I love just sitting there. I typically sit at the computer and eat my breakfast and I just go through comments and respond to as many I, as I can within like an hour, an hour and a half or something. And there's a lot, which I love, but it just takes me a little bit to get back to everybody. But I just want you guys to know that I do see them and I do appreciate it. But 
With that being said, I will stop yapping. I hope you guys have a good week. Stay tuned for the poll tomorrow and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Here, wait.